All right, before this video starts, I want to show you guys how to get the uh, uh, automatic Snapmatic thing, or the, I guess, the quick thing. So you'll press, you go to the settings of your phone, and you'll see here it says Snapmatic. You're going to click that, and you're going to do Quick Launch On. Now, to open Snapmatic right away, all you have to do is double tap up on your D-pad. If you're on PC, it'll be double tap up on your arrow key, but... Uh, yeah, just double tap up on your thing. So that's uh, how to do that part, and uh, now we can get on with the video. Hey guys, this is Cole Kennedy. My friend Chris likes to smell farts. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to solo, uh, solo elite heist, the Caio Perico heist. So what you're going to want to do is you need to have. The Kasatka is your entry vehicle. You'll see here in a second I selected. And you need the drainage tunnel as your entry point. Um, so the things you're going to need is you're going to need the blowtorch so you can cut the tunnel. Uh, depending on what kind of heist you have, you'll either need like the plasma cutter or the codes for the safe. And then you also need... Um, oh hell, what is it called? I can't even think of it. Oh, the fingerprint clothing, obviously. Uh, so, this is uh, pure stealth. You shouldn't be getting caught. Uh, if you do get caught, of course, you'll fail the elite challenge. So, if you follow exactly what I do in this video, you will be able to uh, hopefully get through it. So I got this method of like the stealth method uh, from a guy on YouTube, and it works flawlessly every time, as long as you don't mess it up like I sometimes do. Um, really, it's just about being patient. Uh, the guy who made this, who had this method, is Joey RS. So I'll link his video in the description where I learned it. Uh, originally this was a thing I learned to basically kind of just get a ton of money really fast. Uh, today I'm just showing you how to kind of beat it semi-legitimately. You still are going to glitch into the storage units to get the full loot bag, but aside from that everything is legit. Um, so what you want to do is go up here. When you get to the top, when you get top side, I should say, you're going to uh, kind of switch between. You don't use the shotgun a whole lot. I think I use it maybe twice throughout, or three times throughout the whole thing. Um, you'd mainly be using the machine pistol, so make sure you get the aggressor uh, weapons load out whenever you're setting this up with suppressors too. You got to buy the suppressors. So you see, I use a shotgun here, kill that guy. I'm going to switch the pistol, and around this corner, look for that guy up in the balcony. You see him there? I'm going to pop him. And then get this guy here real fast. I, you see I kind of panic shot a little bit there. So that guy in the balcony, you need to be careful. I try to stick around the corner because it makes it easier to shoot him, because you can hit the bars in front of him and you'll miss him. It'll alert him. So uh, jump up here. Uh, right here, it won't let you turn your camera right away, but once you can, you're going to shoot that camera. Wait for this guy. This guy I screw up a lot on, so you got to be really careful about when you want to shoot him. You can wait till he gets a bit further uh, along his walk cycle to shoot him. Uh, but then once you're done killing him, you're going to come here and wait for this guy to show up. And he can take a while. Uh, you, you can see his dot in the corner. It's just turning right now in the map, and he's starting to walk over. There I go. I shoot him. He drops the key. Sometimes he won't drop the key. If he doesn't, just keep going. Somebody will go lock on locked onto the wrong guy there but you want to kill this guy next Ooh, I missed right there so uh, you shoot that guy shoot the camera then you're gonna pull out your shotgun I don't do it yet I guess I'll do it when I get over you pull out your shotgun you're gonna chase down this juggernaut here and you're gonna light him up you want to shoot him in the head and you want to keep shooting until he's down because you might think he's dead but he's not he'll light you up and it's game over so this is the glitch um, it's a little difficult to do Alright, so for the glitch, you're going to crouch down and open your phone to the Snapmatic with a quick open. 
and then you're going to go up and press jump at the same time while opening the camera again. And when you do that, uh, you're going to exit right away, and then you're going to maneuver over to the Snapmatic app like I had just then, and then open it, and you can continue to open it like every every second or so, every like two or three steps your character does. Um, you got to keep doing that so the glitch will work. Uh, you're gonna head over in this direction. This spot works for me, but I'm going to leave a video in the description um, that where it's actually the one I learned to do this from um, that shows a different spot that might work for you. So for me, this spot works here really well. Um, it might be in a different location for you. Uh, I will put a video in the description uh, that helped me out a lot. Um, but this spot works for me. I'm playing on Xbox Series X. Uh, but yeah, once you're in here, grab this. I would recommend always grabbing gold, because I think gold gives you more money. Um, but really just, if you don't have gold, um, grab cash or paintings, but if you can, get gold. Um, we're going to raid that storage unit and the one right next to the mansion up here. Uh, but before we do that, we're actually going to go into the house and grab some cash from the safe. So what we're gonna do is run over here, we're gonna pick up the key, which is right there. So there I go, I pick it up. Then I'm going to run over here, kill this guy with a pistol. There we go. Switch to the shotgun. And this is the last time I should be using the shotgun. Uh, it's on this guy here. Uh, so you're gonna just wait for him to pop up. He'll be walking down the stairs any minute. There he is, shoot him in the head, there we go. You're going to run up into the house. You can put away your gun now because you'll be doing that glitch again. Alright, go ahead and open up the safe. There's some cash in there we can grab. There we go. Alright, next we're going to kind of go outside and back down. We're going to jump off the balcony over here, right here. You don't have to jump off if you don't want to. I do. There actually used to be a glitch, and I think there's a new glitch that you still have to jump off, but we're not doing that glitch. We're doing the glitch we just did, but in a different spot. So, same thing. You're going to go down. I think I messed it up a few times here too, so we'll kind of do it. But you're going to go down. As you go down, you're going to open Snapmatic with the quick open. You're going to close it right away, go up and jump. See, I messed up there. Uh, I didn't know I messed up, but I waited a little bit just to see, and I did. So you're going to go down, open it, then close it. Then you're going to jump up, open it as you do the forward jump. Oh, I messed up again. All right. So you're going to go down. And you're going to open it as you go down then you're going to close out of it you're going to look up and jump and you're going to open it again and then you're going to walk away and just keep opening it as you're walking away and don't close your phone just keep keep your thing hovered on the snapmatic app just walk every one second i would say like it's like two or three steps the guy's taking open it back up just keep doing that till we get to the spot i'll show you the spot i go to if it doesn't work for you i will have that video in the description that will kind of teach the glitch a little better um, and it might show you a spot because in the video I watched the spots they went to were different I found these spots just based on where my guy was teleporting um, whenever I went to the spot in the video but if this spot works for you great if the other spot works for you great but yeah so what I do is I kind of do it face there and it teleports me in right, right there there we go so yeah once you're in here um, I only had cash in here so I grabbed that just to fill my bag like I said, if there's gold in here, if there's like one gold in the first hut and another gold in here, get that. But if not, just do what I do. Just grab whatever. You want to fill your bag. Um, so whatever makes you the most money, you know, do that. I'm just grabbing the cash here. Uh, once I grab the cash, we're going to go down and actually grab the primary target, which for me this time is the ruby necklace or whatever. Um, this works with whatever target you have. If it's the like papers in the safe it's just going to be you need the code for the safe or whatever and you actually open the safe but this works fine here so yeah just going to go in with the key that you grabbed earlier and then you're also going to of course do the hack we'll do that real fast doesn't take long i'm doing this on easy mode you can do this on hard mode uh i actually wanted to do this on hard mode but because of how the hard mode thing works on here i missed it because i was out doing something but that's okay, it doesn't matter. We still got plenty of money just from doing this with the Elite Challenge, so we, you know, we're, we're doing good. Anyways, you're gonna go over here, you're gonna burn this lock. Yep, there we go.
go. I'm gonna go in there and get the ruby necklace. Uh, so my recording actually cut while I was opening this, so it's gonna cut. You're not gonna see me grab it, but whenever you cut through it, obviously grab it and then you'll leave. So it's about to cut like right now. Yep, there we go. Perfect. So I grabbed it and then I, I left. Um, yep, there we go. So you just go ahead and run out, get over there. Go out, you're gonna just hop up up here, and then you're gonna kinda go up around on these stairs, you're gonna get your pistol out. You do not need to kill this guy, you can kill him right now if you want to, I'm not going to just because uh, I don't want to risk anything. Uh, I had my auto aim on, I usually have it off. Um, anyways, you're gonna hop over this, and you're going to go, you're gonna kinda try to loop around that other guy's line of sight and open this gate. Um, that guard you saw walking in front of us just there, he's not always there, it's all timing based, like depending on when you get out. He might be on the other side and you can just run through, but try to pay attention because if he's walking and you run into him, he'll spot you. And you might be able to get out because sometimes I've been able, I've been spotted and I hit the thing and it doesn't count it. Like I'll hit the exit thing and it won't count it, but you just got to be lucky, I guess. So try your best to avoid it. This guy, you're going to kill him with your pistol. This is the last guy you're going to kill. You're going to hop on this motorcycle and just follow where I go uh, and we'll be getting out of here. So you're going to kind of come up this road a little bit. You're going to follow this road and there's, you're just going to go off the corner here. You're going to try to jump off this cliff. I kind of took a weird way, but it kind of worked out for me. You'll see here, I kind of just, yeah, instantly just go off. And it was like, whoa, that's crazy. Uh, it's not always like that. That's kind of a lucky thing. But really what you want to do, I'll, I'm going to exit, like, zoom out the map here in a second and show you. You want to kind of swim into the deep part of this U that's in the map. Uh, you want to swim, and you don't want to go too far down, apparently. You can see the U now. You want to just swim out into the middle of that U shape. Um, I read on a video that if you go too deep, this won't work. I don't know if that's true. I always kind of stick closer to the surface, um, but I guess just stick closer to the surface. You, don't, you need to be under the water, of course, just but don't like go down to the ocean floor is what I'm saying, I guess. Uh, but yeah, once the escape Cayo Perico thing on the bottom there goes away, you're pretty much good. Just You can just stay there. You can keep swimming if you want, but you don't need to. You can just stand there. That body's been found. Doesn't mean anything. Uh, you're good to go. Once this is see it, there it goes. It fades out. Uh, you'll get your money. And yeah, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I'll leave those video links in the description for the uh, the guy who made the strategy and then of course to explain the glitch a little better and it even gives you some more good spots to get into like basement storage and south storage I think so you know that's very good um, thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed I hope this is helpful and uh, have a good one